this video, I was making $40 an hour. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so I look insane, I know, but I want to take you guys along with me while I did some Presto Insta Shops. Presto Insta Shop is this website that compiles multiple different mystery shopper platforms into one. So it makes it a lot easier to find multiple jobs all in one place. So I already did one job because I wanted to make sure everything went smoothly and I didn't have just, you know, a bunch of footage for no reason. But what we're doing today is some Insta shops where we go to BP and Amoco, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, gas stations, and we just do audits there. So we take pictures of all the pumps. Um, it took a lot of research, let me show you. So my folder actually um, is one I got from my apartment complex. So I'm not gonna show you it, but this is one of them. So this is the one for the Amoco gas stations. It's 32 pages and it is jam packed with information. Here, I can show you guys the inside. So this is, okay, sorry, some stuff fell out. Let me just show you. So this is the one for BP, it's 45 pages. Then we have the authorization letter that you're supposed to give the cashier. A marketing materials guide so you can see what brochures are outdated and what are up to date. So like here's an example of what that looks like. Uh, here's another one for what some things are supposed to look like with some keywords. And the last one is a COVID guideline. So after spending a very long time reading everything, I now feel very comfortable with conducting these shifts. Um, they take a while, but I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I do. And then at the very, very end, I'll give you a step-by-step -step of everything that you need to be able to complete these shifts efficiently. Because if you don't know what you're doing, it can take a long time. My first shift took me like 30 minutes, but I'm pretty confident that now I can be in and out of this location in maybe 10 to 15 minutes, which will make it so that I can hit more shifts uh, a lot faster. So as I put this stuff back in, let's get right into what you're supposed to do. So as I put my materials back in, let's hop right into what doing a shift looks like. So step one, you have to have the right material. So you have to dress business casual. They say no jeans, no sweatpants. You have to wear a work shirt, work pants, and then I'm just wearing some Velcro shoes. Next step, you need to have a mask. So I double mask just to be safe, even though I'm vaccinated. And you have to have a safety vest. So I bought one off Home Depot, it was like $2. And then I have my purse, which I have my keys, my wallet, and portable charger. Portable chargers are very, very important. I mean, I've been out before from like 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. and you need a portable charger to keep you going for that long. So let's get into it. I apologize for the noise, but right now we are at a BP gas station and I'm about to go inside and present my letter of authorization. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. We're at a BP branded gas station and it has three pumps with six pump facings. So each side you can get gas from is a pump facing. This is called the canopy. You have to assess that. You have to assess the poles, the pumps themselves, trash cans, those poles there, the island that it sits on, the C store is what they call the convenience store, then the mid is what this is called, and then each canopy has to be assessed, including a large shot of the entire um, gas station, which is supposed to be done from across the street. Okay, so the gas station's pretty crowded, but let's see what we can get kind of from my car area. Okay, so here's what we're looking at here. What you're supposed to do is, they give you very specific instructions, but it's a lot. So I'm gonna try to make it easier and answer some questions that I had. So first off, what you do is you have to go inside and you have to reveal yourself. They give you the printed out authorization forms and you're supposed to show it to them, but not give it to them. That's kind of important. They even want you to not let them touch it if possible. So what I do is I still let them touch it, but I give it to them so that they can fully see that it's a real letter signed off, has an email just at the bottom you can contact people for. Then I ask for it back. I tell them they can take a picture, they can write down whatever they want. And then I buy something like uh, I can show you. First thing I bought was a water. Second thing I bought, a bag of chips that I ate. Third thing, bag of cookies. And the last thing was a sweet tea. And this guy was actually nice and he gave it to me for free and then still gave me a receipt. So I'm gonna get comped two bucks for a free drink. So what's an important thing to remember is that I keep my folder with me as I do the job. So while I'm working, I keep it in my arm and I go back to 
assess the notes that I've taken from when I read through it the first couple of times and try to see if I can catch any infractions on the building. I also recommend that you give a thorough read of all of them. Don't skim it. I skim everything. That is from someone that skims every piece of work I've ever been assigned. Do not skim it. And so next, I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna go through everything step by step with the guides that we were given to show you important things to pay attention to. And I'm gonna include actual pictures that I took on my Insta shops. Okay, so I'm back home. I took a shower because I was very stinky. So I'm gonna show you a quick look at what the guides look like and what to pay attention to so you can have an idea for when you actually go and do these kinds of missions. And this will apply for when they release new missions too. But these Insta shops are available until July 31st. This is the year 2021. And when they release other ones, I will cover those. And once I start doing the mystery shops, I will also do a tutorial on those and just make it easy for everyone. Okay, so I finally ate dinner and I'm gonna just take a little bit of a deeper look into this. So I showed you the forms briefly when I was in the car, but I just wanna show you to make sure that you get the right things and then a little bit of a look into what the guys look like. So this is the authorization letter that you will be showing to the people at the front. Make sure to point out that if they have any questions, they can reach out to this email at the bottom. Next, which is very important, is the BP Marketing Materials Guide. Now listen, print out everything. They give you like six guides, print them all and make sure you get them all. So this one shows what brochures and what advertisements are old and what are new. So it's remove these 30 cent ones are new, they're approved. Here's what some of the canisters look like. The canisters are what hold the brochures on the gas pump. So I took little notes. I like starred things because this was gonna be important. So it's showing up here. These are approved brochures and these are approved other marketing materials. And then on this side, these are infractions. These are the ones that are no longer allowed, they're expired. So you can look, beware, there are some 30 cent ones that are expired, but you're mainly gonna be looking for things that are like 25 cents, 10 cents, those are old. Next up, we have the Bright Green Beacon BGB image guide that is very important. So this is comparing the new elements, which is the BGB um, BP gas station design, and then they have the old elements, which are outdated things. So it's showing this is what an old dispenser looked like, old canopy flags versus the new ones. My apartment doesn't have a color printer, so it's all in black and white, but if you looked at it, these would be like green, green, white, green and blue down here. Important thing to look out for, the new ones have a thin blue stripe that go right there, that would be blue. Next is the this little COVID form. So this is something more for yourself. Uh, I think it's a liability thing. So it's telling you if you feel sick, you can't go, you have to use sanitizer. And then inside are common mistakes. So these are really important, so I'm gonna highlight these. So pump numbers can be a lot of places as long as they're on the fascia, I think is how you pronounce that. And it's pretty much just the machine itself or up on the valence, which is the top part up there. So it's just showing examples that are compliant. Next is an amenity bin or bollard. So a bollard is like concrete or metal poles, I guess you could say. And it's saying that they're allowed to be a non-compliant color if they are not directly under the canopy. So for example, this one is in front of the C store, AKA the convenience store. Next, light poles don't have to be compliant if they are more than 25 feet away from the canopy. So this one is more specific for if you're in Wisconsin, but um, if you see a yellow gasoline nozzle and you are in Wisconsin, it is compliant. Next is that there are allowed to be other price signs on site. So non-BP and uh, MoCo signs should not be evaluated and don't mark them off if they have other ones. So for example, this says Petro on it. So that's it for that section. Next are the beefy ones through the guides. I just kind of want to show you a quick overview of what this looks like. So for a majority of it, it's instructions, I would say more for yourself. So it's showing what you need to bring, what your Insta shop experience should look like, step-by-step -step instructions, 
And then it gives you what the overall photos need to be, which are all listed in here. It says you also need to have a safety vest selfie, which is just a picture of you in your safety vest and an interior purchase receipt, which just proves that you bought something inside and then they will reimburse you for what you purchased. And then the last part is the very specific specifics of what is allowed and what isn't. So here, it goes into big detail about everything you need to look for, what's compliant, what's not compliant. Certain states, aka Wisconsin and New York, have different permissions than other states. I don't really feel like I have to go through the other one because I just showed you the Amoco one, but the BP one is pretty much the same, just with different things that are compliant or not compliant. And honestly, the best way you can learn is by doing. So go ahead, you can make a Presto account. If there's not a lot of places in your location, that's just how it is sometimes. That's why I'm going to be going through tons of different ways for you to make money. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment. I check them all the time. And please uh, like the video so that other people that are interested in this sort of content can find it and subscribe if you have enjoyed what you've seen so far because I have a whole Google Doc full of video ideas I want to do that all involve mystery shopping, making money from home, hustling, anything like that. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!